I've been feeling extra hopeless lately. I just lie here feeling numb as usual, but I just feel so done with everything. Everything just feels like it's weighing us down. The, he the heaviness is getting worse. And I just don't see a future. I had a really bad night last night, anxiety wise. I just hit rock bottom. I recorded a a clip after it, things had calmed down a bit. I'll show you right now. Tonight's been a bad night. I've had a bad week, but tonight's just been extra shit, man. The anxiety just went so high. And I just feel hopeless. And I don't even think I can say on here how deep things get, but it just, like, what's a fucking point is basically the, the summary of it. I go through all this shit and my body doesn't work, my nervous system doesn't work, puts us through hell, my stomach doesn't work, I, I'm still force feeding myself, but I'm barely getting over like, well, I'm getting like 2,000, between 2,000 and 2,300 calories a day which is good by my standards, but it's so uncomfortable. I feel like I'm drowning. I have to stay up super late to get that amount. And I'm a six foot tall dude, and it's just very frustrating how difficult it is to get my calories down. And honestly, when I get there, this, the urge to just starve and just give up and, and not eat is very high. Even though I'm starting to look a lot more healthy now, it just sometimes I just don't know why I try. I don't have a, I don't think I'm gonna have a future. I've got a lot of shit that's going on that's not gonna change. <laughs> to be honest with you, like, I'm so fucking alone. I've been void of love and all that shit for so long. I'm just so numb and pressed all those things you know how it is just fucking pisses us off man somehow i was able to get enough calories in last night which was crazy considering how painful my stomach was being like it just felt so slow and it was really really uncomfortable and it's so frustrating when you want to eat when you can see yourself gaining weight, getting more healthy, and your body's just rejecting it. And it's just so easy to want to slip in the old habits of just not eating and being unhealthy. And it sounds might sound ridiculous to a lot of people, like, how can you just go without food? But that's how I've went my whole life. That's how I've coped with things. And it just, yeah, it gets overwhelming when food's a big part of life and then the osteoporosis which I've mentioned on here my bones are a week from a, over a decade of starving myself so that's not a reversible thing it's all about managing it right now and if I don't eat properly that's gonna get worse and when I say I don't see myself having a future I genuinely mean it because I feel how weak my body is like I'm not going to even show me posture on here. I'm I'm getting like a borderline hunchback. Like me, me forward head posture is getting so bad from my spine not doing too well from years of neglect again. Um, and it's just difficult seeing yourself getting like about 22 years old. And at this rate, by the time I'm 40, I'm going to be fucked if, if I even make it that far. But it just, all those things go through my head. And when you don't see a future, and you're alone a lot of the time with your thoughts, and you go without like certain feelings for so long, it fucks you up so much that you just don't see the point in living. And yes, I count every day I live and carry on as a win, but at the same time, I'm suffering quite a lot each day. Even when I'm stable, even when I'm... I'm not super anxious, I'm still suffering because I'm not enjoying anything, I'm not having feelings, I'm not doing anything with my life. 
And it's like, what the fuck am I doing? Like, why am I even trying? That's how it feels. And I neglect posting videos because I would just be so negative, like even more negative than I'm being now. So I just avoid posting. And to be honest with you, I I lose motivation and care to even post when I get this bad. And it's like, that's when I know it's getting bad when I'm neglecting replying to comments and posting on here because that's like my favorite thing to do i guess uh i've still been going out for a walk every day um i keep bumping into people i know i bumped into my neighbors today and i'm just so so awkward at making conversation like i'm just so bad at it uh obviously i'm out of practice and i just feel like a bit of a, a robot i just kind of chat shit and then wait for them to move while well, I just stand there in silence sometimes and wait for them to say all right I'm going now bye because I just don't know what I do or say anymore like and when I start kind of over analyzing the interactions and beating myself all, up over it and all that stuff when really it doesn't really matter because I don't really know these people even though they're my neighbors and whatnot but like stuff like that and then like but also he kicks in about contamination fears and all this germs and shit like that when I'm stroke a dog. Like just it sounds very erratic and stupid, but that's what goes through my head, all these different things and yeah. All I wanna do is just lie here and kind of be in my safe place, which I know is stupid because I'm not really living here, but I don't know. Uh, I get so pissed off with myself. I don't know what to say anymore because because of these feelings and how I am. Like, I just feel so lost and fucked and hopeless and all that shit that I always say on here, but I mean it. And it's like, what's the fucking point, man? I filmed that last clip yesterday and last night I ended up back in a &E for the first time in seven months. What happened was my stomach just got way worse. My whole digestive system went numb. My stomach, I couldn't swallow. I felt like I was drowning on my food. And when I was lying down, I was kind of like having to sit up because I felt like I was gasping. And yeah, so I took myself to a &E, done the bloods, ECG, everything was fine. Because I always worry about with me weight, yo-yoing all the time. I always worry about refeeding syndrome and stuff. Of course, everything was fine. All the test results came back normal, and we just attributed it to mental health stuff. Um, so I got home about three a.m. and just passed out. Um, that's a bit dramatic. I just went to sleep, and it's just difficult because I push myself so hard to eat, and I force feed myself every single day. It's so difficult, and when it just becomes impossible, it just it frustrates us. I feel out of control and the urge to just starve myself is so intense because I just feel so hopeless. Like, a living life like this is just so fucking annoying, so fucking painful when you can't eat, especially when you're starting to look healthier. I could see myself getting healthier and healthier, like, filling out a bit, exercising, going for me walks, uh, doing little weights. And it's just so frustrating that... I can't get consistency, like, I barely had a thousand calories yesterday, um, and like I said yesterday, like, I should be getting, for someone in my height, I should be getting about 3,000 calories a day to be making good progress, but I, I barely get 2,000, you know, like, it's difficult, and I know I need to just keep going, but honestly, I feel so fucking hopeless, like, my mum said to us a couple of weeks ago, when do you think you're going to get better? You're spending all this money on a psychologist and she can't see any progress and whatnot, my mum. And honestly, in my head, I was thinking, like, you don't really know the full story. I don't want to tell you the truth because the last time I told her the truth, she just broke down. She couldn't handle how I felt. So I just keep it to myself and... Honestly, like, if she knew how I felt, she would just freak out more, and I just have to, like, kind of keep information back, like, I think I just give her a bullshit answer of, like, this, these kind of things take time, and honestly, this is who I am, you know, this is 
not gonna change i'm not coping as well as i used to like i, I got burnt out from being high functioning for so long you know i burnt myself out fuck myself up and i just don't see how change happens because this is who i am this is not something that changes i, I haven't mentioned it on here as well i'm supposed to be was well, supposed to have surgery on my tongue because i'm severely tongue-tied and that also has an impact on eating like solids and whatnot and um uh, your vagus nerve i don't know if you've heard of that someone's mentioned it in the comments before but obviously that's a nerve that runs down your stomach and like all that and that can affect digestion and tongue ties linked to that so that's another thing that kind of is weird about my body i guess like it was just a lot man um i just don't know anymore i just i can't even tell you how hopeless i feel like how depressed i get when i've been to any and like feeling so out of control and i know it sounds ridiculous like not wanting like kind of not wanting to eat because how's that going to make things better but like when you feel like you're drowning on the food and it's so uncomfortable force feeding yourself and you still don't feel good it's like what's the fucking point man you know and just my moods are just so so difficult to deal with like i'm constantly i constantly feel shit but it's just like sometimes i just get sick of myself like i have this deep ingrained self-hatred of myself uh, sometimes i just hate everything about about myself and just don't want to do anything i just want to disappear like i just have this horrible feeling like of just being so alone and what's the fucking point like what what have i got to kind of live for what have i got to keep going on for you know that's how it feels i know like people might watch me videos and see us and like see the outer shell but inside i'm fucking hollow like there's not a lot to us i can talk on here for 10 minutes or whatever but like the rest of the time i'm just not i sit there in silence i lie in bed and like just do my own thing but i just don't feel part of life i don't feel that like i want to contribute because there's nothing inside of us you know and it's like i just don't feel human a lot of the time like i can't eat like a normal human i can't do what normal humans do i can't feel fucking good or happy or just anything i don't feel like i'm here you know No, I wish I could cry. Like, you can see me eyes are welling up a little bit, but I can't fucking cry. I can't feel feel anything in my head. Like, I'm still, <laughs> I'm just still so numb. But I just anyway, that's what happened. I just feel so stupid when I go to Amy and I get sent home. Like, and there's nothing anyone can do. That's that's one of the things that that hurts the most. Like knowing that there's nothing anyone can really do it's on me to deal with my mental health and get through it and deal with whatever my body throws at us it just feels hopeless <laughs> i hope you're all doing kushti it's a really nice day out here really nice day i'm not gonna go out for me walk today because i didn't eat a lot yesterday and i just feel like shit so fuck it i'm just gonna stay in and have a rest day um one win yesterday was i managed to book a taxi and get in a taxi by myself there and back to the hospital so i guess that was kind of a a win <laughs> um sounds like a simple thing but bringing up for a taxi getting in the taxi talking to the taxi drivers that's kind of a big thing there is um I couldn't drive because my dad's car was in front of a drive and it needed its battery fixed, so he couldn't jump start in time. I just wanted to get there quick, so got taxis anyway. Um, but that's something that happened. I can't really say like how deep I get on this, but I, I, when I say about starting myself, I don't want anyone to take that and think, yeah, I should do that or whatever. Like, I don't want this page to be about this and i think youtube would delete my videos of before it was promoting that kind of stuff so youtube i'm not promoting starvation or any of that shit it's bad for you but 
I just have to keep it honest on here. Um, you know how it is. Um, but yeah, don't starve yourself. Don't hurt yourself or whatever. <laughs> um, not not based on my words anyway. Um, but yeah, I hope you're doing Kushti. And I'll catch you real soon, hopefully.